All right, my choices for the who will be the Democratic nominee of obviously the Democratic Party. Now, normally I would do an intro with ladies and gentlemen, but since my hair is behind me and takes the piss out of my intros, I thought I'd change it up a bit. Ne- uh, nevertheless, um, a year and a half, two years ago, I would have said they'd try and get Oprah to run because, you know, she covers all the identity things. She's black. She's a woman. She um, uh, was very popular at some stage. I mean, let's face it, at a, at a fucking rally, she could say, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car, if you vote for me, all that bullshit. Right, so, I, you know, I thought Oprah might have been a chance, but since then, she's been exposed as as part of the elite uh, Bilderberg group people, which people are starting to wake up to, and uh, friends with Bill Gates and running his dirty vaccine scams over in, uh, over in Africa, killing shitloads of people. Plus, she's being exposed, the, exposed as a racist with that, clip of saying that all white men need all old white men need to die and stuff like that so Oprah's out um I really thought it could have been Oprah because but yeah she's out now and um it could be Michelle Obama aka Michael Robinson uh Barack Obama's husband slash trans wife or what whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, but my brother was saying that he's... Uh, Barack Obama or Barry Satoro or whatever you want to call him, whatever his name is, would not expose his wife slash husband to... Uh, Losing, but I think the the Democratic Party will do whatever they need to do to save the furniture at this stage. By the way, Michelle Obama and I look at Michelle Obama, aka slash Michael Robinson, and Barack Obama. Jesus Christ, we know the giver and the taker is in that relationship, don't we? Uh, but <laughs> regardless, I'll get, I'll get back on track here. It could be, um, they could run that, they could have explored running that uh, podcast guy, uh, what's his name, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, because, you know, he's popular, he's well-liked among the normies, and he could pretend to be, you know, the middle of the road, sort of all-American, Americana guy. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to draft him in, believe it or not. You know, do won't work, but do the old uh, Trump trick, uh, you know, Democrat style. Um, as far as general politicians, um, I could see them running a John Tester or a John Bell Edwards, a Democrat in a sort of a purple state that could pretend to be uh, a middle of the road guy. Uh, of course they're not, but couldn't pretend to be. If you ask me, um, they could do worse than to run that guy from uh, West Virginia, that Joe Manchin guy. He's probably one of the last sort of semi-normal Democrats around. But anyway, those are my thoughts on on who they might run after they. Toss old Joe, old Joe Biden out. Either he says he's too old or for medical reasons because he's not going to be the nominee. They're not going to keep running a guy with stage two fucking dementia who doesn't know what his name is. But those are my thoughts on who they might run in replace. My brother reckons Hillary might run again, but I just, I just don't see it happening. I for a number of reasons, as we all know, but I just don't see it happening. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do. Oh, like, share, and fucking subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, don't.